What's up guys, your boy Boss Mac, I'm back to gaming.com back again with another video and hopefully this is the last of the Z490 unboxings that I'm going to do because it is just so much work. So last off we have the Aura Z490 Aura's Master. So again, I am not loving that. Why? Aura's Z490 Aura's Master. That is how they named the brand, and then they named the model itself of the motherboard. I said, does it change the style? Gigabyte, change the style of the name. I already had a suggestion before. You could just call it like Z490 Master, or Aorus or or Brand, Z490 Aorus Master. But yeah, that's how you reinforce your brand. So that's, anyways, going back to the motherboard, this is the second uh, second in command in the lineup of Aorus's, um, a gigabyte Aorus's lineup of Z490 4 10 gen uh, core processors up to 10 core. So, I don't know if that's just, that's just a narrative thing they're working on, but yeah. So, anyways, let's look, let's take a look at the packaging, and here we have the Aorus Eagle doing this. Well, I'll get the, I'm not getting the angle right, right, right there. Anyway, so yeah, Aorus Master, Aorus Master right there with a little more colorful logo. So I think I have the Z370 right here, but yeah, it's too far. Anyway, so over at the side, we have the name of the model. Name, again, words and things, and model name, and over at the back, we have details. So let's take a look from the top, so we have details right here of the board and I'd like to note it says PCIe 4.0 hardware design so I can't really say that this supports Gen 4 they don't really explicitly say they don't explicitly mention Gen 4 but it says PCIe 4.0 so I don't know if that's just a smart way of skirting around the Gen 4 branding but this might have Gen 4 support, or it does have Gen 4 right now, I don't know, So, but there is a note right there that there are hardware configurations that you have to meet for that. So anyways, all of these details we'll take a look at once we get to the board itself. But anyways, let's check out the content of the Z490 Aorus Master and this one does come in a static bag in a little uh, box of its own. So let's put that to the side and here we have, here we have, sorry, excuse me. And here we have the sticker sheet, so cable labels right there, this little uh, passport size cover sticker right here. And the sad, sad hang tag is now retired in. Replaced by this little thing. I don't know. I'm sad because I like I really like seeing the hang tag, the door the door hanger in these boards. It's like it's like a right so passage once you have that you have ascended. I have a door hanger. <laughs> Anyways, we move on, we have the manual right here and let's check out Yeah, so it they usually tuck the sticker, the stickers and the CD inside, but I don't like these. I don't like CDs in this day and age. But since um, since the I uh, personally I see the Aorus Master as um, something that is not on the level of a of a true flagship. It's more like a mainstream offering but if this was like if I see this as a true flagship even if it's just like second third or bot, uh, top uh, top three of the malls they're offering like right now for ours this is top two but I know that's not the case they are like they have two or three motherboards out there in their warehouse right now waiting for some upgrade from Intel and they're just like Gotta release that and all of these things will be bottom run. So anyways, here we have the cables included with the C490 Aorus Master. Sata cables, not even sleeve. We have RGB 
RGB cables right there and then we have the thermal probes over this side and then we move on to the other compartment and then we okay oh okay so we have the mic which i don't know what it's for and we have the g connector which makes it easier connecting your motherboard front panel header and then the wi-fi and bluetooth antenna and that's pretty much it for the box so we move on to the motherboard itself so i don't know if this is broken or there's really a gap here okay so yeah this is one of the reason this is one of the main causes of broken boxes because it lets the board flop around and i'm not really a fan of that so some people have been asking if why some boards don't have um, don't have seals in the box itself or don't have these static bags so this one has it but no seal in the bag so this is horrible so this might have been used already so yeah so I am removing this because that is horribly horribly Place back again. Right, so yeah, so here we have the Aorus C490 Aorus Master, and it looks like a low, looks like a low baby version of the Aorus Extreme, and this is like how far the difference this board has from this board this looks really mature this looks like it's just it's like just nearly there but it's not there yet like i love the way that they designed this cover of the bottom area it just looks so far from this one this is a full shroud and i may not be a fan of shrouds but this is so much well executed in this one because I can see immediately underneath that and I know that's just like a, a slap on cover and over at the back we have I mean it, it's decent so scratch test and a scratch deeper groups at the level 7 nope. <laughs> anyway so moving up the Moving back, so we have this fin stack, so not as thick as the extreme, but it's not a comparison. This is unboxing and overview. So here we have the C490 Aorus Extreme from Gigabyte Aorus, the gaming brand of Gigabyte. So here we have yeah, a VRM area, so the VRM is closed by this. Uh, heat sink, so I think this is 14 phase and yeah, so they are not using the direct uh, approach, it is direct touch this heat sink is directly touching on the components for the BRM but these are not directly connected to the CPU so it's using the traditional doubler style but they have uh, they're, uh, they're flaunting these nice components that are uh, that are, are rated to produce more uh, balanced power to the CPU. We'll be uh, we'll be expecting what the uh, top electronics analyst uh, publications will has to say for that. But anyways, we'll move on. So here we have the uh, memory slot. So we have total four, and I think these boards are rated up to forty eight hundred. So I'm not sure if they use the same for the Aorus Extreme on the Aorus Master but this one has a uh, separate area for the memory so there's like a, it's like a lot of things going on right here but if they did yeah, they're promising a better design for the memory slot so that's uh, for me that's nice that's a nice touch getting the higher uh, frequency but yeah so anyways that's uh, the promising good power delivery good memory and overall good temperatures for these boards so 
uh, over at this side. So this is more traditional layout in contrast to the extreme. So the extreme uses angled knife turns. So not a lot of uh, connectors that's, uh, that's pointing at you like these fan headers anyways. So uh, this is more traditional. So this has the USB 3.0 right here. We have the reinforced 24 pin for power at this area and let's just zoom in and then we have the setup ports we have a total of six right here and what are these so we have like headers over this area right there so we have the debug header i forgot to mention that as well as rgb headers at this side so i need to uh mention again uh, for those new to motherboards and in general, this is using LGA 1200. This is not compatible compatible with um, the socket for the ninth generation and uh, earlier. So, anyways, moving right back, we have the front panel header right here, as well as system fan connectors, as well as a water pump over this area. And moving on, we have the front panel connector for the USB 2.0. Then more RGB, the BIOS switch, and the audio right here. This little connector right here is for the RGB, which we will check out right now. Hopefully, it powers on. Power on. Hmm. Right there is the RGB, so as you can see. Uh, here we have an ignition light, but the RGB is not as beautiful as one might expect. Mm. Mm -hmm. So right there, it's just sample the lights with the lights off, so it's not as colorful. Go back, right? So it's not as colorful as they used to do it, but... There's not a lot of RGB in this board, which is surprising. Like back in the X470, C370 days, they would just crap RGB on this board, which is really shocking how far, how mature they have come. So that's that's uh, adolescent adolescent for you, motherboard or master. And I have a little complaint about this board already. Uh, I'll get back to that in a while when we finish this up. So before I tear, before I remove the shrouds, uh, I will show you the rear I/O that we have. So we have USB 2.0 right here, 3.2 or this area. We have the HDMI 3.2 Type C, 3.2 Type A. All the way over here, we have 2.5G LAN. You need 2.5G switches or routers to use 2.5G, but the good thing about 2.5G is it will run with your regular Cat 5E cable, so you don't need to upgrade. And then we have the audio right here. And over at this side, we have the quick flash button, Q flash button, and the clear CMOS. So going, uh, I don't know if I'm showing the back, but anyways, and backplate, no M.2 slot over this area because they are all hiding at the front. So let me just open this up. And here we have the screws loosened up. So we're going to move the shroud. And yeah, so as I mentioned, I can peek right through the shroud because they are just like hanging on top of this board. And we have a total of three M.2. So Again, I'm not a fan of uh, shrouds that are held by screws that you need to remove. Oh, my M.2 is like acting up. I can't access it directly. It helps in keeping the aesthetics uh, clean, but usability-wise, for my special uh, situation, they are not as helpful as I want them to be. I know some people who are, are not familiar with PCs who bump their uh, systems and then suddenly their M.2 SSDs uh, 
uh, loosen up for some reason. It happens. So yeah, so someone has to come up with a way to really um, make these things you know, more uh, accessible. I mean, more uh, easy to work with. But yeah, so if you're a fan of the shroud, it works for you. So if you're not, you don't need or you only need one. That works since this one is on top. You can access this without removing the GPU. But this one, I'm just not a fan of it. So yeah, and especially like this one works. So it's not directly underneath the the video card. So the heat isn't dumping. But yeah, this one is still like right below it. Anyways, yeah. So and we've seen the RDB already which leads us pretty much to our conclusion on what our, uh, what is our first impression of the board so first uh, impression of the Aorus C490 Master this print right here is absolutely horrible I don't know what they were thinking Coming into the office and suddenly deciding that they should slap a glass with the print of C490 Aorus Master against the shape, against the lines of this IO shroud right here. This 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 does not look good in in my opinion. It's a little thing. It's like it's just small. Uh, small component of this entire board, but this just doesn't work for me. If, uh, yeah, if I were choosing this board, I would wash off this print. I think this you can easily remove this with um, uh, a sonic cleaner and some thinner, and not hurt the glass. Or and then to remove the glass, you just you can probably melt this off with a heat uh, with a heat gun. So yeah, that's uh, that's my solution for that. So yeah, like if they gave me this board, I will totally remove this. I'm not a fan of that. But anyways, uh huh. So yeah, so the overall layout of the board screams gigabyte. There's nothing really I can complain uh, with that. It's not really that high end looking for me. So if you ask me, this works as it is in terms of aesthetics, in terms of uh, uh, application that it's targeting uh, if it's like upper mainstream um, uh, people who are mostly after for the performance this works for me especially if it's uh, if it follows the same price as the previous master series of Aorus motherboards but yeah um, my complaint is this one and the shroud just feeling incomplete and just put on there to just say it's right there and there's uh, RGB uh, really depends on your case uh, not a lot of RGB in this board so yeah that's pretty much it for the Aura C490 motherboard and yeah check out our review of this board once those uh, once the embargo has lifted and check out our more formal unboxing in our website is backtogaming.com and i am your boy boss mac of backtogaming.com once again if you want to see more videos like this one don't forget to like the video comment the video and subscribe and i will see you guys on the next one peace